Hey guys, so I am going to share with you guys um, a couple of my storage solution, stores, stores, storage solutions for my crafts and embellishments. The first one that I'm going to show you is this good old um, box from Michaels. It's a picture box, a box that holds, um, it's supposed to hold, it has little compartments that hold pictures in it but I use it a little bit different so let me open it for you I could open it and then I'm gonna go really quick to show you I haven't labeled any of this and I don't think I am because I have a feeling it's gonna be changing from time to time um, but this is where I keep like certain embellishments like these are some like bookmarks um, and here I have uh, like a kit that I had already opened is some other like bigger embellishments from a kit for Michaels. Um, this is a bunch of leftovers from different kits. It's just a mix of it. Um, I think the last two are these two. Um, and what I do with these is actually I had all this like just jumbled up in one big container. So now I have them here. So when I want to make my own embellishments, I just come in here and grab the boxes. And then and this one I have um, like acetate pieces like like gold stuff that has a little bit more um, that's a little prettier you know I have some handmade some handmade embellishments some smaller ones um, in here but this is like more of the gold and um, stuff that's foiled Ugh. and then here I haven't cut this up yet but you know how you have kits you get kits and then they have um, a bunch of words in them um, so this one I'm gonna cut these apart so that I could use them eventually um, so this is gonna be my like words and then this one I have my little stamp collection I have um, you know loose stamps and then stamps and stabs stamps and oh my gosh I can't talk today what the hell anyways this is my stamps little container um, and then this moves to this side Let's flip it around and then this is my favorite one this is like stickers but this is like fashion stickers um, so I have a box of this one of my favorite ones and I'm running low on these and then these are pre-cut like uh, pre-punched and pre-cut this is um, I send a lot of happy mail out, so these are like cool little cardstock envelopes. I'll send you the link to this. I bought this. It's a printable from um, Pocket Letters, um, from Janet Lane's blog, Pocket Letters and Pals. And then these are circle punch cards um, and scallops and, and whatnots. But um, so this is ready for me to grab to make embellishments really quick. And then in here, I haven't really put anything in here yet, but. Um, I just got this die, and so what this is, these are back toppers, um, so it kind of goes like this, and then you just staple it and put it in, uh, on top of a goodie bag. Um, I just cut out an example so that I could put all my different, I have a lot of dies, or I have a few dies that are back toppers, so I want to keep this here so I can make some ahead and then just pull it out. What's in here? Well, this is my black and white embellishment box, so this is leftovers as well, kits, and then this just has like... Um, embellishments that are mainly black and white um, some of them have a little bit of color but it's mainly black and white and then so most of this was paper and then we get towards the back is a little bit of um, something else so this one I have like mini bows so I have like mini bows and then mini bows with the leaves so yeah this is a jam packed with mini bows and then I have another one I skipped one I'll show you this is another one with bows and these are just um, flat bowls. It sounded like I said flat bowls. Flat bows. Um, I don't know if I should open it or not, but you can, guys can see it. These are really cute to grab and um, add to your projects. And then back here I have some um, flare. So this is a box of flare. I'm running low on flare. Where, guys, if you guys know any of a place, know of a place where I can get flare for like on the low low, then you know. Some of these, the green ones are all from the Dollar Tree. I just got those recently. Um, but yeah. And then this is kind of my sweet box. This is 
one of my favorites. I haven't really done anything um, aside from a charm from this. So these are like little macaroons and little gummy bears for charms. Or for, let me see if I have one. Okay, here. So I made this and I put a little, you guys can see it, um, for my um, planner. So pretty, right? It's so candy, candy-ish. And I added that little, yeah, my fingers are crusty. The little gummy bear. So that's that. Um, I have a jewelry section. Um, this is mainly for um, paper crafting, but uh, I just threw this in here for now because it's pretty and I want to see it. And then that's pretty much it. So moving on, this is one of the boxes, and I just keep this on top of my shelf. Um, one other um, Michael's craft find are the these jars. I think they're six for five dollars or eight I think they are. So in here I just keep like uh, these butterflies and then some more like flat flat back stars and um, flowers and then I'm thinking of making a couple projects with these um, maybe some paper clips or something these are really pretty so I keep those in here they're like hard ones and then some more tan um, charms these have uh, the little clasps, clasps on there and then I think this one has a couple of breads so um, yeah that's pretty much it I just thought I'd share with you some of the awesome craft uh, Michael's uh, storage solutions oh and then this one I have some of my um, Happy Planner mini and some other doodads in there. Um, but yeah, so this is how I used two of the pro two of the um, craft organizing projects, craft organizing storage solutions from Michaels. Um, I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to see more of how I organize, um, leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and yeah, um, hopefully. I'll be done with my craft room soon. I keep on saying that. It's been years. And then I'll give you guys a quick craft room tour. My room is small. But I like watching them. So why not share mine, right? Okay, guys. Bye.